do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power Now, Wholesome and Proud of Fitness Media. We got a really great video tutorial today. We're going to go into a deep dive on how to update your free McBoot memory card from an older version like 1.8 or 1.93, 1.94 to, to the latest version, which is 1.95, the newbie package. Go to the video description, download the zip file, extract it to a FAT32 formatted thumb drive. So here I have my thumb drive connected to my PS2 and we're good to go. And I'm running an old version of 1.94 free McBoot. So once we have it running, go to you launch ELF and press X. And then we're going to wait for the next screen to load. And once it has loaded, we're going to press circle. Now we're going to go down to mass. Go to your USB thumb drive, navigate to wherever you extracted your files. So now I'm going to go to fmcbinstaller.elf, press circle. And now at this point, you have a decision to make. Do you want to format your memory card, or do you want to leave it as is and just install a new update? So let me show you where to format if you want to format it. So go to R1, R1 again, format memory card. So here, if you want to format it, purely optional, but I'm going to format mine just for educational purposes. I'm going to press X. Go down to yes, press X, and now it's going to format my memory card. If you do not want to format your memory card, perfectly fine. Don't format it and just go to install by pressing X. And then it's going to say, do you want to install it? So go down to yes, press X. At this point in time, you have three options to select. Normal, cross-regional, or cross-model. Most likely than not, you want to select normal. If you're going to do um, multiple PS2 consoles in different regions, let's say you're going to play in USA, you're going to play in Europe, you're going to play in Japan, whatever, maybe cross-regional is what you want to do. Or if you have more than one PS2, like a fat or a slim, in the same region, then do cross-model. In my particular case, I'm going to be in USA only for most of the time, so I'm going to do cross-model for my particular situation. It might be a little bit different for you. So go ahead and do what makes sense for you. If you have any questions about that, leave a comment on the YouTube page and we'll talk about it further. Okay, so now it is installing the base package, 1.95. And there is a, a tip here after we're done with installation to show you guys. And we'll talk about that. The other YouTube guys do not talk about it. So it's probably a good idea you're watching this video because we got some really good information here today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to exit. And I'm going to say quit the program. It's going to go back to this memory card screen. At that point in time, press circle. And we'll go back and your PS2 will reboot back into FMCB. So press circle. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So I don't know if this is a bug or not. But after you install 1.95, you should have other programs mapped here by default. Like OPL, ESR, SMS player. So there's an easy way to fix it. Let's go back to ULaunch Elf. Press X. And then what we're going to do here is press circle, go down to mass, circle, go to your 1.95 folder, press circle, go to install folder, press circle, go to the boot, at this point in time press R1, and then press circle on copy. Now we go back, go back, go back, go to MC0, at this point in time press R1, and paste in the root directory. It's going to ask you to overwrite, say yes, or click OK, actually, by pressing circle. It's going to copy all the stuff over. What happens is, during installation, for whatever reason, it just copies the boot.elf. It doesn't copy the other elf files. I'm not really sure why that is, but that's real easy to fix, as I'm talking about right now. If you were to watch other 1.95 videos on YouTube, they do not really go into this detail. So, that's just a tip that I noticed by myself, so hopefully that helps you guys as well because I care about you guys and I care about these you know I just want to make sure that everyone has a great FMCB experience that's all alright so now we're back what I'm going to do now is I'm going to restart the PS2 so let's go ahead and do that and we'll see that once we are rebooted we'll see all those other programs by default in the main menu alright here we are ESR OPL simple media system and if you want to add more programs, by all means, go ahead and you go through the Freeman Boot Configurator and add those. I do have a dedicated tutorial on that particular topic, so if you guys are interested, uh, let me know and I'll send you a link uh, later on. So that's today's video tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.